Stuffing cheeseburgers down your throat. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Look at that. Oh, we're racing. I think the only thing that I should be <clears throat> concerned about about my health is the component of my skin. I am very pale. Dude, have you seen me? Okay, well, you and I, we both don't go outside much. The, <laughs> the sun is scary. Is... Oh, so you agree with this? The sun is, the sun is very scary. There's a, um... There's an actual disease out there. It's rare, but it's a, it's a real thing. It's like a vampire. It's codenamed vampirism. <clears throat> rare, but very common. You, you, I didn't say rare, but very common. I said that. Okay. It's an actual disease. It's classified as a vampirism. Where, <clears throat> first of all, your teeth they grow in a funny way, where the you know the gum lines forward, and you're naturally pale, or you have an allergic reaction to the sun, where you actually get rashes if you go outside. It's a real thing. Not saying that I have it. You don't have it. No, but it's, I'm just saying it's a real thing. I feel bad for those types of people. Because they can't go outside at all without having to burst into a bunch of flames. Like an actual pre Twilight vampire. It's kind of weird, but. They, they don't. They, <clears throat> they don't get sick. Anywho. Good talk. Good talk, son. I'm gonna do that. All right, dude. We'll catch you in the morning. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Do you know I won the I won the uh, key sanity first place? Yep. Wow. Kicked the ass. <laughs> I took a gamble near the end that paid off huge. <laughs> Speaking of car for voice, we say that. Kick it. Oh. Jasper's going crazy in the other room. Bombs, 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 I want bombs. <clears throat> okay, now, is it a wooden steak? Or is it a steak? Because one of those is very much not like the other. I will take a steak, a meat steak of any type. Because, well, I am a carnivore. And before you ask, no, the prize is not steaks. Then what is it, you monster? <laughs> Living! And a lifetime supply of heat. You know, they say lifetime, but they never consider the Dragon Balls. I love that card. I really do. It is so brilliant. The writing on that show is just amazing. So yeah, how do I how do you play open mode? I kind of forgot how to do this. <laughs> I kind of forgot how to do open mode. <clears throat> I mean, I know that I'm gonna find keys, you know, in the dungeons, but yeah, it would have been. It definitely would have been. I Unfortunately, I got restreamed on the wrong day. I got restreamed yesterday. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if I actually get restreamed tomorrow. Because um, I will be doing the... Um, so tomorrow's schedule is... Uh, the open is in the afternoon, which I can't do because I'll be working. Uh, the 7 o'clock is actually... It's, a, it's the... It's the uh, hard mode Triforce hunt, which I really want to do. Um, but I kind of can't. Um, I'm not going to get home till 6.30 because I have my chiropractor appointment tomorrow. And if I, if I do that race, I can't eat dinner for the second straight night. And then I think my wife will start getting really pissed at me. So, um, I'm not going to race the open mode Triforce hunt, the hard mode, which I really want to. Um, but then I will do Key Sanity at, not, at uh, 10 o'clock. So this time tomorrow we'll be doing Key Sanity. 
It's like I'm not gonna miss any of the Sandy runs that I, you know, don't have to don't have to miss. <clears throat> yeah, I mean that um, that Key Sandy race though that was a crazy seed. That was a crazy stupid seed. Ooh, early bow. Yeah, I, I I really want to do it too. Chip runs are fun. Um, but yeah, I need to, <clears throat> <clears throat> I need to take that one off, unfortunately. I'm gonna sit down with my wife and, you know, have a good, de have a good meal and she's cooking pork chops tomorrow night, so. Sacrifices need to be made on that one. There'll be more. There will be more. Because they're gonna be doing the, um, you know, they're doing dailies all the month of December. So they'll be announcing next week's schedule here probably by the end of the week. <clears throat> so, we'll know. I'll, I'll make sure to go out of my way to do the next one. Ooh, early moon pearl. Very nice. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll definitely... I definitely will not miss the Key Sandy run at 10 tomorrow night. That's a given. <clears throat> Just so much fun. God, those are so much fun. So we're going to save quit after this. Uh, we have enough bombs. <clears throat> uh, it's uh, SNES 9X. <clears throat> so some of the um, some of the emulators are not allowed. Um, so SNES 9X is kind of the standard. Uh, was it uh, two, three, four? Okay. You know what? Actually, fuck it. I'm just gonna go there. I need to do it anyway, so... Fuck it. We'll just go straight to Eastern. I can do it in the dark, so... <clears throat> but yeah, this is kind of the emulator standard. Uh, the reason that some of the emulators are not allowed is because... Um, the... So some of the emulators, they fix the lag issue. So, you know how it is in, in here when, like, Kana Samari, or Kana Burna is going off and there's fucking lag all over the place. There are some emulators that actually fix that, uh, because it's not, obviously you're not uh, connected to the actual hardware. Um, which means an unfair advantage for anybody that is not using that one emulator, so. Um, they ban a couple of them. Like, ZSNES, I believe, is banned. Um, and I think there's a couple others that are banned as well. <clears throat> but SNES is basically the gold standard on on the emulators because it's a it's a perfect emulation of the uh, the hardware, and it's also the most common and stable because it hasn't been updated in a while. Um, <clears throat> I mean, ZSNES has been around for 15 years, so it just has and it just has never really needed to be updated. I think I'm using 153. I think it's 154 or 56 or is that something like that, but. Um, again, there's no reason to... There's really no reason to upgrade. It works perfectly. You know, the only... The only thing that is not accurate has nothing to do with the emulator. It's the input lag from the controller over USB. Um, other than that, it's about as perfect as an emulation as you can get. <clears throat> So the question here is going to be, how quickly is the lamp going to be in the rotation? Because we are out of sequence here. Not only that, I see a bug in my logic. That's interesting. I already fixed one. I fixed one the... Uh... Oh wait, that's never mind. That's not my bug. That's a cross product bug. <clears throat> my bad. Yeah, that one's that bug's actually not on my side. Because I'm not in uh, Key Sanity mode. So, it's just, the logic is so complex for Key Sanity. Um, like, with, with non-Key Sanity, it's really easy. You know you need two or three items to finish each dungeon. You know exactly what you need. If you have those items, great. You can finish it. 
If you don't, you can't. Um, but with Key Sanity, it's so different because the the complexity and the different types of combinations of items that you can do that could lead to other items is just it's enormous. Um, not only that, the um, uh, ooh fruity. So that's about that's as far as we're supposed to go in logic. <clears throat> but um, the like pot is a great example, is because depending on where you spend your keys, the the logic is different. So it would help if I had my. <laughs> I just dropped the bomb for no reason. Um, so, for example, the. Um, Wow, I got knocked way off course there. I got hit by one of the Stapos. I couldn't find myself. i to be kind of careful here, actually. Um, but yeah, depending on where you use your keys, if you use them incorrectly, like, you have to build the logic saying that you do this in this particular order. And because of that... Um, it's possible that you you can do things in an order that is not not standard. So it just makes it it makes it difficult to do that. It also makes it slightly inaccurate if you do not know that, because the like if you go into a dungeon and it says well you can get here's items you can get still, but if you blew your keys incorrectly. You can't actually get any, even though the tracker is going to say you can. So that's what I'm working out. I'm still working out those little bugs, um, the little nuances. And it's mostly just Pod and, and Turtle Rock. Those are really the only two that this is a problem with. So we're going to get an out-of-sequence out dungeon out of the way, but that flute is very much in sequence. So... Um, I don't know where that actually is going to send us, though. <clears throat> I can go almost anywhere. Grab that heart. I fucked this up the last couple of times, so I don't want to accidentally take a lot of additional damage. Don't know why I've struggled with this lately, but... Because it's going to save time. <laughs> Getting that full decanter saves time at the end of this because you don't have to wait for the, um... Um, you don't have to wait for the power... Oh, fuck me! I don't know why I haven't been able to hit that the last few times. Okay, so let's go turn on the flute. We'll stop by the lazy kids, see what the lazy kids got today. Um, and then... Where do we go? Not sure where we go after that. We have some options. We definitely have options. <clears throat> So we can go to... I mean, I guess we just go where the most items are, which is down south. We'll just go to the mini mold room cave. Maybe we'll find butter in there again. Yeah, we went from uh, butter sword at 10 minutes to no sword. And who knows for how long. But we have only one item to Dark World. <clears throat> so there's still going to be... This is going to take some time, I think. Unless we just randomly come across hammer and glove or whatever. But we have three items away from Aghanim, uh, Aghanim access. <clears throat> so, that's good. I mean, the likelihood of us having to do Dark World is slim, or Aghanim is slim anyway. <clears throat> it's just not required very often these days. <clears throat> oh, look at this cat. 
so adorable when she when she's like this. Early half magic. I'll take it. I'll gladly take early half magic. We have 18 arrows. That'll be more than enough to get through the mini wall room cave. <clears throat> Flippers. We almost have the rupees for this, too. Okay, so I guess, yeah, we're just going to do the... We should have the 30-some rupees before we get to uh, Her uh, Zora. So we're just going to do Zora route. We'll go all the way around to Zora. Oh, hi. You all done there? You have a nice little cat nap? Now you're up and going to be pissy and get in my face? I know you will. That's what you do. So we know there's a bottle on Agas on the Lumberjack ledge, so we know we'll never get that now. Jesus Christ. Did you hear that? That was Jasper just rushing through. Got to assume you actually heard that. And he's, a go he's a goddamn horse. Oh shit. Okay, this is pissing me off. Yeah, that's my cat. That's Jasper. That's the asshole. It means it's late night and he wants to play. <clears throat> yeah, he's the asshole. Oh, absolutely. Welcome. Hey, Mooner. How you doing? Perfect time to throw that one out there. <clears throat> hey, Mooner. Do, do, do you see something on the stream there? Do you see it? I know you do. Got our money. That's good. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll do all of... Um, we'll do the whole route here. Um, it's probably going to be... I, I got I to gotta plan this out. I think I'm going to do it... See, I'm going to have some time that I'm going to work from home near the end of the month. Um, usually the last week of the year, I usually work from home uh, over Christmas break. Um, so ba probably that last week um, after Christmas between New Year's, I'm going to think about doing it then. Um, but I'm, I, I got to plan it out. The reason that I would like to do it when I'm at home, working from home, is that I can start earlier in the day. And if I could start on like a Friday night... Um, <clears throat> Cool. Very cool. Um, so if I could basically, if I could start earlier in the day on a Friday into a Saturday, it means that I could do like a four o'clock start time on the, if I could do like a four o'clock start time on a Friday, that would lead me to finishing up Saturday at 4 p.m., which is right when the weekly is about to end, like the weekly standard would end. So I could finish it with the weekly standard. So you guys would get to be able to see me in my absolute worst doing a weekly. When I've been up for 36 hours. So that's my plan. So what would that be then? That would be the 20... Because Christmas is on what? Christmas is on a, on a Sunday, isn't it? Isn't Christmas on a Sunday this year? I'm pretty sure it is. So if that's the case, then it'd be the 26th, 27th, 28th, 20th. Oh man, that would be the 30th. Oh, Christmas is on the Monday. Okay, so it's on the 29th then. So I'm looking at that uh, December 29th. That would be the sat that would be the Friday, if I've got my days right. Let me look at the calendar here really quick and see. I 
Oh, that's three heart containers we've seen on this now. I guess we're gonna go do escape. So yeah, the 29th. That's what I'm looking at right now, is December 29th. Um, I mean, I could do it before that. Um, maybe I could... I mean, I guess in theory I could also do it the, the Friday before that. Um, but I think that Friday, that's the, the 29th, I think it sounds right. Because, again, I plan on being home that week. And if I can start early, like 4 to 4, I think that would have worked out perfectly. Because then I'm not worried about, you know... I'm not worried about... Oh, you know what? What's going on that weekend magic-wise? Is is there any is there any magic event going on? I'll have to check that as well. I'll have to check and see if there's any sort of a magic event going on, like a major event going on that weekend. Um, either official uh, Wizards or uh, Star City. Um, I don't... Th I think the Invitational from Star City is a few weeks before that. Usually they don't do things Christmas week, which would even be more perfect because then there would be nothing going on big that day on the Saturday, and they will probably get better viewership. In fact, the more and more I think about this, if those dates fill, I mean, if that if those dates are right, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. <clears throat> that more and more are sounding correct. That's how I'm going to do this. <clears throat> What's sounding less and less correct here is, oh my god, we haven't gotten shit yet. We're still two items away from Dark World. Gotta get something here, right? Nope. Wow. Okay. I think we're gonna go to... We're gonna go south before we go north. <clears throat> Just in case we get the off chance of getting the hookshot down there in Agonis Cave. I know it's longer, but... Um, it's this and Death Mountain. That's it. That's all that's left. So... You know that's a dud, so the book doesn't get us anything. But yeah, we need two items for Dark World access yet. That means either we need the two items to be right here, or it needs to be like the hook shot. And that's kind of why I'm doing this, because I think there's a good possibility of the hook shots in here, because it opens up more progression. Because right now there's just not much progression available to it. Um, the Lantern technically does open up some progression too, because it opens up um, an additional chest and then everything underneath Hyrule. There's a sword, but that doesn't do anything. So it is Death Mountain. In fact, not only is it Death Mountain, it is the, um... Uh... It's in Spectacle Rock Cave. That's the only place that's left, is Spectacle Rock Cave. So... We know where the progression item is, we just don't know what it is yet. Because it's gotta be an item that leads to an item. So the Lantern leads to an item, the Hookshot leads to an item. Um... The boots lead to two items, and that's about it. Um, the gloves lead to three items. Potentially three, well, uh, potentially four. One of them could be the key. Um, and I think that's it. So it's pro it could be, Power Glove is probably likely. I think Power Glove is probably the likeliest. Although, again, Hookshot leads to seven. So I guess if I was to say off, then, oh, I'm sorry, it leads to eight. So if I were to say, based off of that likelihood, it's probably... Oh boy, I stole the shirt off the old man's back. Um, it's probably the hookshot. Just based off of number of items needed to progress at this point. <clears throat> so yeah, pencil that day in your calendars. It'd be December 29th. Pencil that in. It'd be a great day to, to knock this out and get it done with. I shouldn't say that. No, 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 no. Change that. I'm not going to say that. That, that sounds like I just don't want to do it. This could also be the mirror. Um, and it is. Because I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be fun. <clears throat> I love doing these. The 
Oh, this cat went back to sleep. Alright, so let's go get that hammer. And then we'll finish Hera. We'll do what we can on Hera. We can't actually finish it. We don't have the, um... We don't have a fire source, but we'll do that. And then we'll head to, um... East Death Mountain. So we're 25 minutes. And we basically have checked everything. Including a couple of things that are not normally available early on. So we're actually not making horrible time here, considering... That we don't really have a... I mean, it's a very clear path progression here. And now we just need the Power Glove for Dark World access, so that's nice. And we're still no closer to... Um... Aghanim, which is even better. Okay. Two items in Hera. As long as we don't need to hunt down the big key, we should be good to clear. So if this is small key, we have to leave. Well, we can finish it. We don't know if we can clear it, but we can finish it. Actually, gonna grab those arrows. Yeah, I mean, there's not much available to us, so... Unfortunately, this is the last place we checked, which is kind of unfortunate that we did go. It's But we actually made pretty good time, especially considering we cleared Eastern already. So, um... There's Fire Rod. That doesn't change our progression line, but obviously it's generally a required item. Oh, it does open up the basement, my bad. So if this is the small key, or the small key is... Yep. So if it's not the item here, we can go to the basement before we leave, and we will. <clears throat> no reason not to. But yeah, good early fire source is always nice. So yeah, we're just looking for the... <clears throat> the uh, power glove's gotta be up here. It's gotta be here somewhere. Bad area. Get out of there, man. Get out of there, man. Oh, oh shit. I'm just gonna take a take one there. If I poke the bear here, I poke the bear. I smashed him in the dick. <laughs> King of Burna. That doesn't change anything. Alright, so it's not here. <clears throat> So it's got to be East Death Mountain. And then we assume it's the uh, power glove. Doesn't have to be. It could be another fetch item that leads to another one. And that thing could go on forever. But we did also just get a safety item, which is nice. Um, we got the sword, which is nice. It's possible that, you know, if they came up here... It's possible they're not... If, if anybody that came up here first is not going to go to Agonis Cave. So that's very possible. Okay. <clears throat> and obviously having a, a sore there at Agon is very helpful. This is my first time in the Spiral Cave today. I did not do this chest at all in our Key Sanity run. At all. That was the one thing I never did. The opportunity that I had to do it, I just didn't. Because I had other things to do. <laughs> and I never went back and got it. I was always terrified that that was going to be an item. Thankfully, it ended up not ever being an item. 
So, Mooner, if you're still out there. Um, so, we spiked the Key Sanity run today. Or the, uh, yeah, the, the Key Sanity at 7. Out of, uh, we got first out of, I think, 44 people was the final count on that one. First, first daily win. That opens up potential for two more items here. Felt really fucking good to win that run, by the way. Because I did a, I did a couple of plays that were... Can I do this? You can. I did a couple of plays there that were risky near the end, and they just the gamble paid off perfectly. Wow, cane and fire. And, uh... The mitts. That's what we needed. <clears throat> but yeah, that was a, a huge, huge win. That's the biggest race I've actually won. The Before that, the biggest one was like 20. <clears throat> that also does go to show that I was pretty far behind if I don't take that gamble. But we did, we won, punch and pie. <clears throat> that's all that's important. Is that we did take the risk. It paid off. We won. <clears throat> Losers go home. Winners fuck the prom queen. I love that line. Alright, where are we on? Our, where's our crystals? Green. I might actually clear that. Blue. Red. And where is mine? <clears throat> well, this is our favorite type of Skull Woods. The lovely Pendant Skull Woods. It's also green Pendant Skull Woods, which is even better. Um, so I'm probably going to full clear this. I think I'm going to full clear this. Unless I find a clear progression item in here. Although, again, I don't have to. I can full clear uh, Crystal... Uh, uh, crystal Thieves Town, too. I'm not sure. I guess that... You know what? I'll, I'll make that decision when I find... When I see what's in here. If, we, if there's at least one item left on the other side, I think I'm going to clear it. Because it does net me two. And there's going to be at least one. At least one, if not two. There could be two in there. <clears throat> Alright, we have Cane of Samari. It's gonna make this a lot easier. God, now I'm thinking back to that Key Sanity run and how many mistakes were made. I made a lot of mistakes. I mean... Oh, fuck that. I'm gonna go clear. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go... You know what? Fuck it. There's one item on the other side. I'm just gonna clear it. I'll come back and get the big item later. The big chest. But, um... um I'm just thinking back to, like... I remember I ran... I had to reset the room in here, like, twice. And lost at least a minute doing that. And... So, if you figure, I gained seven minutes by deciding not to continue with Ganon's Tower and leaving when I did. I gained seven minutes, because it takes about four or five minutes to clear the left. It would have taken another, you know, another two, three minutes to clear the right, and then another minute for, um, and then another minute for, uh, uh, Tile Room. So I gained six or seven minutes. And still, only won by, like, half a minute. So that does say something. And, I mean, we got pretty fucking lucky. We still have a lot of work to do in our execution. We really do. And I acknowledge that. We have some work to do still. Come down here. Ooh, that was a... I think that was a double hit. Oh, another one! 
One hit should do it. No, one of those didn't count. Oh, well, two of those didn't count. Quake Medallion. Okay. Might need that. We might need that. We'll see. So yeah, we still have two items. Well, we still have another item to get here. So we'll get this one. If it's not here, we'll get it. It's in the big chest, so. We have the mirror, so it's easy to get back out. So hopefully that quake is needed. Um, considering that both uh, T-Rock and Meyer are... Okay, that saved us a little bit of time. Uh, pen, uh, considering that they're both crystals, the chances are we will. Um, I'm going to do it this way because it is quicker. Uh, considering I have to go back in the same, the same one here, so this is quicker than and redoing the uh, the portal than it would be to doing it the other way, because I have to go back in this way and then come back around anyway. So at least I think this is quicker. Maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before. Seems quicker. The only advantage of doing it the other way is that you don't have to, um, uh, you can come out the right side and come down instead of going up and around, but I think this is still quicker. I definitely want to go this route before I go, uh, before we go any further. So we'll see if that green pendant's worth anything. And then the next time we're over there. Um, we can full clear pod, and I actually think we're going to go in that, we're going to go to that area, because pod just has items in this. I don't have any fucking bombs. I gotta buy bombs. <laughs> I gotta buy bombs. <clears throat> I will say this. Okay, here's a, here's a tidbit. If anybody out there is watching that does these races, here's something I've learned. In open mode and standard mode in V27, if you can go into pod, go to pod. Just do it. As soon as you can, if you can do a full clear, just do it. Just get it done with, just go there. The chances of Pod having an item are just astronomical in this logic. However, there's a book. It gets us into desert. Um, however, that being said, if you can get into Pod in Key Sanity, I highly recommend you wait until you absolutely want, well, one, until you have the bow, um, because it saves you a full key. Or two, until you absolutely have to go in. Or until you have like all six keys or five keys in the bow or whatever. Because you never want to waste a key in pot. You never, 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 never want to waste that sixth key. It's just... I've seen... I, I, I heard what happened to Magus today. Because uh, Blaine was in here and he mentioned what had happened. That he, he used his five keys in pod... And, you know, he knew he had to go to Helmasaur, but he didn't have the sixth key. So he had to go back and die. I think it was Ice Palace had it. So he had to go back in there and get the sixth key. And it cost him, I mean, who knows how much time. I didn't, I wasn't, you know, I did, he didn't tell me how long it took, but and that's huge. If you just wait, not only mention, and on a side note, Key Sanity Pod just doesn't seem like it has shit. Um, except in this case where it had the Ganon big, <laughs> the G Tower big key, but it was inaccessible until the end anyway. But it just seems like it doesn't have as many items in in key sanity mode, and you just you want to wait. You do not want to have to waste that key in key sanity. It's so huge. It's such a deal breaker. I've lost 20 minutes because I've had to do that. I remember one run very specifically, I lost 20 minutes. Because it ended up being the last dungeon, but I couldn't do it because I couldn't find the fucking key and I had to like double dip into a pendant dungeon just to find the fucking last key to pod. Because I got greedy and went there early and had to spend the key on the front door. I mean, I understand that the logic says you can find all six keys. It'll never lock a key that you have to take that route. But you still shouldn't. 
I mean, fuck logic in that scenario. Like, really, Jesus, these things are just all over me. Come on. And that one's having a convulsion. So yes, that is my my note to the world tonight. If you are playing Key Sanity, wait until the very end to go to pod. If you're playing normal and open, as soon as you can go into pod, you fucking go there. You just do it. Which is what I'm about to do. If I can actually make it out of here. That's right, I have two items here. What do we have for... What's in our bottle? I know we have a red goo. I don't remember what was in the other bottle. We have two bottles, right? Don't we? Am I getting my runs mixed up? Don't I have two... I have two bottles marked, but I think I marked it because I thought I had two bottles. Now I'm actually not so sure we have two. I'll check here in a minute. I'm pretty sure one of them is red. Like the one I got out of... I think I have two reds. Because one of them was in... Um, uh, one of them was on Death Mountain. And the other one I got early. The other one was in Eastern. So yeah, I think I have two. God damn, get out of my way. <sighs> I hope everyone's enjoying their days today. Wednesday? Today's Wednesday, right? <laughs> I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> hope everyone's enjoying their Wednesday. <laughs> I to think about that one. Hey, Slayer Kyle. Thanks, dude. Very much appreciated. Hope you're enjoying your uh, your Wednesday nights. This is our second run of the night. We're looking for back-to-backers. Again, we did win our last race. We fucking spiked it. That was a... I, that was my best. That's my best win so far. Especially considering the circumstances. It was a good-sized race. There was 40-some people. You know. And it's the, my favorite mode. Sword upgrade. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, we have a couple of choices here. Hmm. We have some choices here. I think we're just going to do south route to Hype Cave, and then I think... I think this is the exception to the rule. I think even though we can go to pod, I'm not going to. Um, because we do we have a crystal dungeon that is open. Um, we can do desert. We just don't know if we can finish desert. So I guess we're going to do that first. And then if that comes up dry, we'll do pod. We'll also turn in the green pendant while we're over there. Oh my god, I don't have the money. I wasn't even paying attention. Where did I use my money at? Have I not gotten any money since Zora? I didn't even notice. Alright, well, that happened. Hope that's not important. We'll get it when we go back to do the smithy route. So we have, what, three crystals down. We're at 44 minutes. We're making good time. There's our money. I think, you know, I'm going to go do this now. I know I'm doubling back slightly, but I don't want to leave this one behind. And then actually what we could do is we could mirror out and flute and make it to Hype Gate quicker. Because we don't have to do anything else here. So that's what we'll do. 
We'll do this, we'll mirror, we'll flute back to four, we'll head down to Hive Cave that way. Because I can't check anything else here anyway, so... That's also our pod money. Come on, give me something good here. Putting a lot of time into this one. Come on. Nah. Not gonna make it out. You can't use your mirror until, uh... You can't use the mirror until you're done, so... Whoops. What the hell did I do that for? That was weird. So yeah, this is gonna be quicker than walking it. Since we don't have the boots. Alright, so we've done those. We need to do... Hype Cave. We'll go do... Um, the... Uh, Bombos Tablet. And then we'll head straight into Desert. Which is good, because we're right there. We don't even need to flute at that point, because it'll take more time to flute, to fly over there, to land, and then drop down there than it would be just to walk it off the platform. Ow. Dick. Oh, yeah, you deserve to die there. Boomalang. Come on, give me some hype. Give me some hype. Give me some hype. Give me some hype. This is not hype. That was not hype. There was no hype there. That was Sans hype. Alright, so... Let's go down here. We're going to do the Bombos tablet. And then we'll check desert. Make sure that we're not boot, uh, boot locked out of desert. And then, where do we go from there? I think, yeah, if that comes up dry, we're just going to go to Pod. Uh, we could also go to Swamp. I'm going to not, I'm going to choose not to do that, though. Because um, who wants to do Swamp? Nobody. That's who. Alright, let's start figuring out our go mode here. We need Hookshot. We need Ice Rod. We might need Bombos. And we need Titan's Mints. So, three items for sure. Or, or, two items for sure. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Three items for sure. Hookshot, uh, Ice Rod, and Titan's Mints are for certain. And then, we might need Bombos. We don't have any way to check that yet. We also might need boots. We don't know that yet. We'll know here, actually, very quickly if we do for, for here. We will know very quickly. And... Are we boot locked? Yes, we are. But... <laughs> There's the boots. <laughs> well, that's awfully convenient. Oh my god, you know what? That's the second straight seed the boots have been in that location. That's where they were in the Key Sanity run, too. It's the exact same location. How's that for convenience? There's the second item. Ah, plus one bonk. Cool, now we have that. Um, okay, so we have a choice here. There are... how many items up there? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven? No, only six. There's only six up there, because one of them is one of them's a herring. Um, there are six items in the graveyard spot. Um, there are six items in pod area, because we have to do the green pendant. Um, so I think based off of time and not wanting to necessarily go into a pendant dungeon that I don't have to, 
I think I'm gonna do the ledge stuff. I'm gonna do the items at um, at the graveyard first, which is probably a mistake. You should probably just go to pod. But um, I think I'm gonna do that first, just because it's six items. I can get in like two minutes, if that. It's probably less than that. So I think I'm gonna do that first, and then I'll head to pod if I have to. I mean, if it was Crystal Pod, we would have already been there, but with Pendant Pod, yeah. There's still some options to go, so. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was awful. Okay, so no. That's two cycles, not bad. Oh my god, a map! What was the map to? Oh right. We can also, you know what? Up, oh, change it. Change of plans. We're gonna do a really quick pedestal check first, because that's gonna change everything if the pedestal is live. And we have no reason to go back there, so we're gonna do it now. Let's do the pet check. Because then we're going to go straight to pod. If the pet is live. And then we're just going to come down here and we'll do the graveyard. So we get it all in one rotation here, which is nice. It's very convenient. That is what is called route efficiency. I'm normally shitty at it, but I'm actually doing pretty well here. Unlike yesterday, I don't know if you guys, I don't know uh, how many people were around to actually watch that race yesterday, the one that I got restreamed. Man, I raced like shit. I was so bad yesterday. Gotcha, gotcha, okay, good. Don't have to worry about that. Man, I raced so poorly yesterday, it was fucking disgusting. I could not have executed any worse. I was very, very unhappy with that run yesterday. So we don't need to do anything else here. So we're actually going to go up this way. Just because we don't have to go all the way around. We'll leave the other exit. And then we'll check out Bumper Cave on the way out too. Ah! Back off. Back off! You know what? I think it'd be quicker to actually have gone back south. Just because there's no... Like, there's no mobs in the way. So... I don't know. Never thought about it. This isn't normally when you do this route. But yeah, we're going to do this first. Uh, we could even go all the way around to, to Catfish if we really wanted to. Um, I don't think I really want to, though. I think I'm going to check these... Oh, no, because I'm going to have a save-quit spot underneath uh, the last chest in Hyrule Castle. So there's no way I'll do that here. Okay, so again, we know we're three items away from go mode. We know what they are. We're not going to keep this portal. Oh, no, never mind. We have to keep the portal. My bad. That would have been really bad if I had not kept that portal there. We cannot check Kingston without the Titan's Mitts. We need that portal. Or we can just get the Titan's Mitts. <sighs> oh my god, sometimes this game. I don't need it. We're still going to check this because we're here. Um, but now... Actually, you know what? That doesn't change much. It opens up Mire. Uh, which is a crystal. Um, but we still can't do the other two. So let's check these still. Because we're here. Maybe we don't have to do pod. That would be awesome if we actually didn't have to go do pod. 
That would be fucking awesome sauce. So, we're either gonna get the key here... And there it is, okay. So we'll get the last chest underneath. That'll finish this off. If we didn't, we knew that it was there, because we've already gotten the map. We got the map in the front end. I hope we did. I think we did. Pretty sure we did. I remember telling myself the map was inconvenient, so... I'm not even gonna bother looking at my menu. And then we're gonna check out Meyer. Right. We do Meyer after this? Yeah, I think we're gonna do Meyer. Even though we're not, I don't have the best equipment for Meyer. I really don't. I wish I had better equipment for this. I wish I had a safety. I mean, I do have. Oh, uh, you know what? I could. I could just do. Um, I can do dash strats with uh, Master Sword. That should be fine. I mean, there's two-thirds chance I can get in here. Like, if this is Quake, we have a good advantage. If this happens to be Quake, because Quake was in Pendant Skullwoods. It's Bombos. We cannot do this. Wow, that actually is surprising. That means we need three more. We, we're three items away from Go, then. I'm... I'm a bit surprised, actually. There's your bug net. I'm... I'm surprised. And we just had a forfeit. Oh, Riley Dragon! I, um... a Ridley Dragon. I did uh, commentary with him on one of the matches. I'm actually going to get this. I've learned to appreciate the shield upgrades. I really have. Okay, now we have a decision to make. Where are we going? I think we're going to go to Pod now. Because everything that's available right now are Pendant Dungeons. So let's do Pod. Yeah, I mean, I I could I I I'm I'm surprised. I am surprised. All right, we got to remember turning the green pennant while we're here. See if we get an extra item from that. Two people have forfeited now. Okay. Soapbox time. I'm not going to tell anybody what they should or should not do. Um. You know, you do what you like. You know, you enjoy yourself, you have a good time. Oh, tempered. It wasn't required, but that's nice. Um, you know, do what you want to do. There's a dude that just forfeited that has done, when I last saw, he has done 13 races on here. Oh, I don't Where the hell did Kiki go? He has done 13 races on SRL. Um, all Zelda races, and he has forfeited every one of them. Every one has been a forfeit. He's never finished. If that's what you want to do, hey, go for it, man. I find that very strange. Like, super strange. Alright, so we are three items away from go mode. We know exactly what they are. No secrets left. We just need to find them. We need Hookshot, Ice Rod, Bombos. And if we could find Silvers on the way, that would be fantastic. So we're going to do this, and then I even think we're going to go do ice. I mean, ice palace is fully clearable. Um, I don't want to go swamp. Swamp's the one I just don't want to do. Uh, not at this stage. 
I also think we're gonna check catfish. I think we're gonna do the catfish route too. We're gonna get that one out of the way because there's no, again, there's no convenient time to do that. So we're gonna finish pod. I think we're gonna do catfish first actually. The more I think about it, we're gonna do the catfish route and check the pyramid. We haven't checked the pyramid yet. So we're gonna do this, we'll mirror out, we'll go to four, we'll take the, um, we'll get the dark, rope, the dark portal up and then just do that. And then after that, I guess then we do ice, I guess. I really hope Halmasaur's got the map with the compass. Just so much more convenient when you know you don't have to do Halmasaur. It's n otherwise it's completely not required. So, Oops. is that gonna hit it? It didn't. Because we know the pet is dead. Plus one bonk. Intentional bonk. Alright, so we are three items out. Come on. Give me some. Hookshot would be nice here, actually. Hookshot opens up swamp. Powder. Ugh. Well, at least I haven't done the smithy route yet. Still three items in here, and this is gonna be. Two items left. I really super want them to be in these. So there's three items over here. We definitely do not want to have to do Helmosaur if we don't have to. I will. I absolutely will. I'm already committed. So if this is if. There's one. That's good. So as long as this is not map compass, we're done here. Um, and then I think we're going to go immediately turn in that powder. Fuck. Now we got to hope it's required. Make sure I did that right. Yep. Damn. I hope that powder's required. We'll find out if I just wasted time. And we're going to do this now. Because we're going to see if that actually paid off. Because if it didn't, that was, that's like a five minute loss. And then where are we going to go from there? I mean, again, do we just do ice? Do we go up to Turtle Rock? We can't clear Turtle Rock. But do we take that risk? I mean, we all know that the items that T-Rock has got items. Um, actually, yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. If I don't get a progression item from here, I think I'm going to do T-Rock before I do Ice. Oops. Come here, little bastard. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Makes sense. I mean... You often have to double-dip T-Rock in these situations, so... I'm just, I was so surprised that Meyer was not not the right choice. I was totally expecting Meyer to be the right choice, especially when you have two medallions already. That's that's just surprising. Ooh, we got some butter, ladies and gentlemen. Delicious, delicious butter. Only uh, you know, just short of an hour before we got it in the last run. I think I am. I think I'm going to go to Turtle Rock after this. Not only that, we can get the um, the Ether Tablet item, too. We can knock that one out. So, in case there's something there. Yeah, there's going to be some double dips or something going on here. There's got to be. This is the big one right here. This is the one that says we either wasted a bunch of time or we gained time. This is the big one. Come on, give me something. Anything. 
wasted a bunch of time. Pod's not required. Shit. That is unfortunate. Shit. Pod was a dud. Hell, the smithy route here has been a dud too. Unless the lunchbox here has got something in, got something nice in it. I mean, we did get the butter sword, but fuck. All right, we're going to Death Mountain. Let's go to T Rock. We gotta go the long way anyway, because we don't have the hook shot, so um, we actually have to go this way. God damn it. Of course, and then it hit the damn thing and it cancelled it out. Fuck god. Single frame glitch due to audio issues. That's weird. Oh, that is. Hmm. It's an odd forfeit, but no idea what's going on there. Back off. Fucking fucking fucks. Game squirrels. Man, we've just been coming up empty here. We're an hour six. Plus one bonk. Let's open up T-Rock and see what's in there. No, you bitch! <sighs> Ten seconds. Just like that. Ten seconds. I have to believe I can get in here. I really want it to be Quake. Quake is Quake is one way I could actually make some time up. If this is Quake. And it is Bombos! <gasps> oh my. there. Wow. I am shocked right now. Where the fuck is Bombos at? I am shocked. I'm just gonna save quit here. Oh no, oh god, I didn't check Spike Cave. I just left Spike Cave untouched. Whoops. That, my friends, could be a pretty big mistake. I don't know why I just did that. Check the two out-of-the-way items, and then I think then we gotta go back and do what we were gonna do a long time ago, which is going to ice. Wow, I just fucking let... We're missing three items to go mode, and I just skipped Spike Cave for no fucking reason. And we can do it really quick. It's not like it's a big thing to go back and do, but we should have fucking done it. Bombo sad. We got two medallions early, and neither one of them did anything. 
I really expected Quake. Just because, you know, Quake was the one that we found first with the... from Skullwoods. I really, really expected that to be, you know, the item. Let's see how much I know. And then if it's not here, we have to go to Swamp. I don't think there's anything else left. Other than the Spike Cave. Which, again, I just fucking skip. I'm gonna say quit. I'm gonna go to Spike Cave. I do not want Spike Cave to fuck me. It sounds painful. Fuck. This is the one time you actually want that. Oh man, I can't believe I skipped this. It's probably nothing. I mean, Ice Cave is probably the choice. I mean, hell, it could be Swamp. It could be Swamp. It's one or the other. I mean, we've already lost this race. Um, we're not winning this race by any stretch, so... Um, <laughs> I mean, we're basically on, you know, last item checked already. Oh, fuck me. Right, let's go to ice. This is going to be basically a full clear of all dungeons. We just didn't kill Halmasaur. We didn't need to. <sighs> so here's in Swamp. One or the other. We're going to check the one that we hate the most. Because if this... Because if we do get to go mode Swamp, it's going to save us time in the end. There's no, there's no go moding Ice Palace. So... Because we're going to have to full clear this. We still need... Uh, oh, yeah. What am I doing? We still need three items. Now, it's possible that the Ice Rod could be in Turtle Rock, or it could be in Mire. Um, but as soon as we find Bombos, we can go to Mire. Uh, if we find the Hookshot, we can do Swamp. And then if we find... Well, technically, we can go do Turtle Rock, too. Nobody, nobody wants to do Turtle Rock in that state, so... The problem here, let's say we find a treasure trove here, and we find like all three items here in Ice Palace. Let's just say in theory that happens. Um, that's great, except that it t sends everything back because we checked so much shit before we did this. So, either way, I think we're boned. We've been efficient, we've just been wrong. The only thing we've actually gotten out of this path is we picked up an extra sword upgrade. Um, and in this case, I'm not even going to bother doing the uh, bomb skip. This is the one time you don't want to actually... You don't have to use bomb skip. So I'm not going to. There's no advantage of doing it here because I'm not gaining a... I'm not getting any items. Plus, I can check the uh, asshole chest a lot quicker this way. Because I'm going to be doing a full clear anyway, so... I'll find the big key and the extra key after that. Or I don't even need the extra key. I can just walk in there and drop down the, the, the blue hole. Probably should have just gone. <laughs> it's not like I'm concerned about health here. 13 hearts had red nail, but... Oh, is ice gonna fuck us again? I just hate ice palace. I fucking hate it. And it always seems to be the bane. I'm 
the double big key. So no items yet. So we know that four, three of the last four items are live. We've gotten everything else. There's one. That's wasted. Are you gonna fucking tell me the Swamp Palace is the goddamn item? I refuse to acknowledge that. Do it. It's our third bottle. I think that's our third bottle. I'm still not sure if I have two, yeah, that second bottle. I think I do. I'm gonna check the asshole chest. Gotta do it. really give a shit, but we have to kill Cold Stare, he's gonna die very quickly. Oh, well, he's gonna die very quickly. Gotta be it. I mean, if it's not this, I mean, then we gotta go into Swamp, and again, nobody wants to fucking go into Swamp Palace. Not when you're missing the hookshot. Oops, why did I do that? And by any, when I say nobody, I mean me. The thing is, we're still being, we've been very efficient. We just haven't been correct. Is that the mushroom? I think that was the mushroom. I guess I can go fill up blue goo while I'm there. I'm 90% I'm sure that was the mushroom. Yes it, yes, it was. Sad times. I'm gonna take a little damage here. Go get him, B. Go get him. takes longer than to, to release to switch to all your bottles and release everything and then take damage it actually takes longer than I think <laughs> come on I'm missing three items still it's swamp swamp is the choice oh well, here's an interesting side note if you went right into swamp when you could no pendant required dungeons. Zero. There was nothing required in any of those. How about that? Ain't that some shit? So we lost twenty minutes. Um, we now knowing what we know now, um, somebody was probably gonna be done in the next ten minutes. Now, it's possible we still have two double dips to go, though, because it's very likely this is going to be double dip unless the hookshot's in here. And we know the Bombos is in here. It has to be in here. There's nothing left. <laughs> I guess if hookshot is in here, Bombos could be at Hookshot Cave. Um, but there's just nothing left. Shovel leads us to an item, I guess. But um, I th I, honestly, I think that's it. I think we checked everything. 
I'm pretty sure. Um, shovel spot, that's Mimic Cave. We can't go there yet. Hookshot Cave. Can't do the fairy yet. Yeah, this is it. We've full cleared. We did it more efficiently than we did in the last run, but we still full clear. That's not good. So which is it? Which is it going to be? We know what it's not. It's not the ice rod. I mean, the ice rod might be in here, but it's not. That's not the item. Hookshot or Bombos is in here, guaranteed. The unfortunate part is we just did this all wrong. We decided to do Pendant Dungeons instead of a Crystal Dungeon that is beneficial to do in Go Mode. That's what it came down to. Found a lot of shit, but it was all shit. Now the question is going to be, though, which one is it? Or is it both? Or all three? Hell, if it's all three, that'd be insane. It's possible. If you get the hookshot first, you bet it can be. Bombos. We're going to keep going. I mean, we're already committed, so... I think exiting at this point would be very bad. Especially with the ice rod still being an option, but yeah. Knowing what I know now, I mean, this is, yes, this is going to be... Somebody's going to be done, like, at 1.30. And we're looking at like a 145 to a 150. That's really unfortunate. We'll do this, we'll go do Meyer. Um, we might even have to double dip back in here. I mean, unless the hook shots on one of these two items, we definitely do. Um, or the big key, we'll come back and check that. But... Yeah, probably means the hookshot's in Turtle Rock. You know, it's basically the most inconvenient place for it. But it means we're gonna do... Again, we gotta do Meyer first, so it's a full clear. That also opens up the fairy. We'll do that before we head up to T-Rock, just in case the, uh, the hookshot or the ice rod are in the double-chested fairy. As long as we can do T-Rock last, it's still somewhat efficient. But there's no guarantee that the hookshot's not in there. Of course. And this is going to be the big key. And then we got to go back and we got to go do, do more. That's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. So. Unfortunate that we just chose wrong. We decided to do two dungeons that we could full clear instead of one dungeon that we can only half clear. And it being the most the most inconvenient dungeon. Oh my god, both side... The other four items are all live. <laughs> oh shit. How about that? That's like the perfect dungeon, too. Like, that's the dungeon you want when you want to do the half clear. Because you never have to go left. Because map and compass are over there. Oh, I mean, we know we're going voting it the next time around, so... Um, change that. We do not know for certain that we are go-moding it. Um, it's possible that Ice Rod could still be in the big chest. So if Hookshot's in here, we're going to go back and do Swamp. If Ice Rod's in here, we're going to go do Turtle Rock, and then we'll come back to the other side. So 
It just depends what's in here. If either. If it's neither, we just gotta go straight to T-Rock and then double dip it. So. Unfortunate, but hey, that's rando for you. You know, we had a really good run earlier with the Key Sanity run, which is, in my opinion, more important. So, it's only, you know, can't run them all. I mean, you could, but there'd be suspicions. in here so that I can finish in Turtle Rock, please. I do not want to double dip Turtle Rock. Give me the hook here. Don't give me the fucking shovel either. I don't want to see the goddamn shovel. <laughs> I don't want to see the shovel and say, oh, by the way, you need to go, you know, do this before you, uh, before you go to Turtle Rock. I don't want to see that. We're at 126. Again, this I'm, I suspect somebody will be done right around 130. Um, if you just follow the breadcrumbs through... Uh, if you went to Swamp first and follow the breadcrumbs there, you're going to be have a killer time on this seed. Because you don't have to do any pendants. You don't have to do any pendant dungeons. It's not a thing so. What was the other item we got out of... Skullwoods? It was Quake, and then I think it was just a Rupee, right? Fuck. I should be fine. But... Yeah, it was just a Rupee. So there was nothing out of Skull Woods. Nothing out of Pod. Nothing out of... Yeah, it was completely wasted. No Pendant Dungeons are required. And I did all three of them full clear. But that's not good. Wow, no. <laughs> we know there are items over there, so we gotta go. Come on, please, just give me the hook shot. I don't mind double dipping Swamp. I don't want to double dip T Rock. And, I guess I don't want to double dip T Rock and double dip Swamp. Oh my god, they're both either, well, it's one item here and then one item in the back, or both over here. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that. I'm gonna hit by this one too. Let's actually get my powder out. Oh, wait, I can't do that. Huh, I was going to look, look for the hookshot. Guess what I don't have? Come on, don't do this, man. Don't do this to me. Oh. Six bucks. <laughs> don't make me do it. They're gonna make me do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the fairy first, just because again it might save a double dip. But um, yeah, this is looking like go to T Rock to get the uh, go to T Rock get the hook shot. Go to uh, go to swamp get the ice rod. Go back. If that's the case, no one's going to be done at 130. <laughs> It'll be more like 145. Because I'd say that it's very likely that they did not make that route. They didn't make that routing decision. They would at least have di dived into one or two pendant dungeons. Especially since they're all full clearable. I'm just guessing, but that makes perfect sense. 
So we're gonna do Lag Fest 2017 here in a second. Because we're gonna go do, uh, we're gonna use Canaburna with uh, Dash Strats on Vitreous. This is fucking annoying, but. Still the quickest, I think. I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. <sighs> Alright, so we'll go check the ferry before we head up to T Rock. But this could be two double dips. Actually, that's shit. Swamp technically. Could it be a triple dip? No, because we only need two items. Well, no, it could be if the shovel's in play. I almost feel like the fairy's gonna have something, though. I mean, yeah, it could be a complete dud, but... Considering we still need two items and we have full cleared everything. What did Ben Teasy just said? This is literally the worst. <laughs> oh. That's funny. So, I don't know if you... Have you been paying full attention, Space Age? Do you understand what our situation is right now? So, we've full cleared everything. 100% um, has been cleared, with the exception of now we can go into Turtle Rock. And we can get... We can see what we can get in there. So, there is a possibility of a triple dip in Turtle Rock. Um... Because, okay, yeah, because of that shovel. The shovel right now could lead us to, so we could have to go in, get the shovel, come out, get the ice rod, or I'm sorry, get the hook shot. Oh, now you're going to give me cape now. That's great. I did check bumper cape, right? Yeah. So that's not required. I guess no, it wouldn't be a triple dip because if I get the hook shot in here and the ice rod is in ice or is in swamp, then I keep fucking looking for that and it's not there. Um, fucking, I suck at this so much. Then it's only going to be a double. It's going to be two double dips. If the ice rod... Like, Hookshot's guaranteed to be in here. Unless it is in... Again, unless it's the shovel spot. But either way, it's going to be... It's going to depend where the ice rod is. So if the ice rod is in, in here, then we don't have to worry about it. There's nothing else left. It's shovel, and then Hookshot Cave, and the two dungeons that are left. That's it. We've checked literally everything else. This is actually going to be as close to 100% seed as you're going to get uh, without doing Aghanim. This is going to be more of a 100% seed than the Key Sanity run was. <laughs> Fucking squirrels need to get out of my goddamn way. And as soon as I say that, they just say, ah, I don't think so. I bet the chat, though, in the other uh, restream is loving this. This is a commentator and viewer's dream. <sighs> There's still only two items for go mode. Oh, I just did just pick that up. I think I have the bug net, too. I didn't write that down. I didn't mark it. Oh my god. 
People are having a fit because people are talking in IRC during your race. <laughs> Emo. Emo. My tits are calm, thank you. That was one item. Oops. It would help if I, uh... And I gotta do the slow seed here, the or the uh, the slow path. You gotta go take a pee. This is your time. Yeah, no, I I turn everything off. Oh yeah, you can't be in the chat or anything like that. That's yeah, that's cheating. Yeah, I turn everything off. I mean, if you saw me, the um, if you were in this channel. Uh, yesterday, when I was being restreamed, but I actually left the cam on, which I rarely do. Um, I mean, I'm just sitting there staring at the screen the whole time. I, I look to my tracker all the time, but I don't have anything else to look at, so... Yeah, you can't be... The, the only thing that we keep open is the IRC window, which you don't even technically need to keep that open. Um, I know a lot of people that minimize it, so they're not having to look at it. Um, but that's just, I keep it open for, for race announcements in case something comes up, which doesn't generally happen in these races, but. Shit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, the reason that you want to, if you're getting restreamed, you got to keep everything quiet. Because obviously, you know, they don't want my voice. They've got commentators. So, the mic being muted is, is essential. Otherwise, they won't restream you. And we do have to... Oh, come up here, come up here. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna get third. Yeah. I mean, in the end, it's... I mean, they've got their own commentators, because they have to They have to do all four um, in this case. Jesus Christ. Um, so, yeah, it's... But, yeah. I mean, if you want to talk... If you want to go to a single channel, you just go to the single channel. Um, I mean, I don't have to... They're, they ask if I'm gonna if they want to restream. I can say no. Like if they if they ask tomorrow to be restreamed, I'm gonna say yes because it's key sanity, and um, I think considering I won the key sanity race tonight, I think there's a good chance that they will. Um, but um, I could say no. Like if they were gonna ask me to restream this one right here, I probably would have said no. Um. I probably would have. This time we're going to do it this way because we need two items still. It's just for a wider audience, is all. It's just it's it's for it's for viewers. So I mean, they restream on the main channel. Everybody knows the main channel. People don't know the individual channels, um, but the speed you know the speed runs live, or that the speed runs live. The uh, the speed gaming channels have been used for you know for years now. With here's the hook. You know for for everything. So you know people know those channels, and they get a bigger viewership. And it, it really does... I'll say this. The... The amount of... Uh, the amount of activity we've gotten because of the restreamers has been just huge. Um, because when they started streaming... I mean, that's why I'm doing it. Is because of the streams from last season. From the... Uh, from last fall... Or the spring tournament. I wouldn't know this existed if it wasn't for those. So, I mean, they definitely bring in a lot of traffic. They've been getting Buku traffic on the uh, the Speed Gaming channel. 
um, while doing these restreams. So, um, but yeah, it's exposure. No, I, but, but that's the thing is that you don't have to. You get to watch, if, if, if it's being restreamed, you get to go to the, um, you know, you get to go to the, Jesus Christ. Um, you can go to the main, you know, to the main channel and actually watch it. You don't have to go to the restreamer channel, so. Wow, it's not in here. Yep, this is worst case scenario. And then I just did that. Don't know why I did that, but. Yep, this is worst case scenario. It's gonna be a double double. Double dip in the T-Rock, double dip in the Swamp. <sighs> Shit. You know what? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I'm gonna do Hookshot Cave. Actually, no, I'm not. What am I doing? I don't need to do Hookshot Cave. No, no, no. That's a that's a huge mistake. What am I doing? I do not. I'm getting tired. I do not want to do Hookshot Cave. I'll do it if I have to to come back up because it's possible that Ice Rod's in there. Oh God. Yeah. No, I hear you. And and if you want to get you know if you want to understand the streamers, that then you're exactly right. That's what you want to do. Um, absolutely. Wow. Barry just finished. Barry Bonds is done. One forty one thirty five. That's a that's a great time for this seed. That's a hell of a good time for this seed. Yeah. No, I, exactly. No, I and that's yeah. I I hear you completely. I I think I think the reason that you want to go to the restream channel is um the main reason you want to go to the restream channel is to see the competition. Is you see, you know, four people playing against each other at the same time. You know, you get to see that piece of the competition. So, um, if that's not something that interests you, then yeah, there's no point. You know, we might actually not be done here. There is a possibility, and it's kind of why I was going to go do Hookshot Cave. It's possible the shovel's in there. That the shovel's in Hookshot Cave. And we have to go up there and get it, and then come back down. <laughs> oh, fuck. What am I doing? I've done this already. I'm getting tired. I can tell I'm getting tired, because... <sighs> yeah. And Bentizi just forfeited. He was the one that was commenting earlier. I played him twice in the uh, the tournament, and he beat me both times. Both times were close. He beat me by 53 seconds and then, like, a couple of minutes. So, really close races both times. We don't even have the big key yet, do we? We don't, do we? No, we don't. So, it's possible we might have to come back in here still. This is crazy, man. Both of these seeds tonight have just been remarkable. Yeah, again, it's just for it's it's for channel exposure. Um, it really is. It's just channel exposure is all, um, and the competition because again they host they host the competitions on there and it's it's easier to watch. You know, if if it's a one on one or in this, I mean, this is not really a competition. This is an exhibition. Um, but, you know, if it's competition, then you want to see both, you know, both streamers at the same time and see them side by side. And you don't want to have to, uh, uh, you know, you don't have to pull up both streams, so. That's all. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Again, you know, you, you can't get personal with it. Oh my god, is the shovel... Yeah. Again, it's for mostly for the competition, and the thing is, is that this opens up the exposure to the other events that are on speed gaming. 
And there's a ton. I don't know if you watch any of these at all. If you watch anything on the Speed Gaming channel, but there's tons of shit. I mean, it's constant. It never stops. There's so many tournaments that are going on in there. I've actually... Um, now that I've, you know, gotten the bug of these competitions, I almost want to learn another game. Um, to do more tournaments instead of just Zelda tournaments. Come on, be the ice rod. I'm terrified that the, um... It's... Oh, it's the big key. Of course it is. I gotta go back in. <laughs> well, we know, with the one exception, if... If... The... Shovel... Because we've gotten those. If we, if the shovel happens to be, this could be our first full 100% clear of items. Um, the only thing we didn't do is Aghanim and uh, Helmosaur. If the shovel is the item that is in Hookshot Cave that leads to the Ice Rod, this will be our first full 100% clear of everything outside of Ganon's Tower, at least. I've had 99% clears before. Yep. Jeemus criminy. How did Barry finish this so quick? I mean, he obviously read the breadcrumbs and then did the double back and then the double back, but... Yeah. No, no, and you're right. You're exactly right. Oh, we have a full inventory, don't we? we gotta find that shovel, though. We gotta make it perfect. <laughs> we still don't have silvers, either. Silvers gotta be in Gans Tower. Yeah, I mean... Some streams, you go there for the entertainment. Some streams, you go because they are the best. Um, and then there's some people that like to go stream for titties, which drives me crazy, but... Um, You know, I love that, you know, female gamers have found a, a niche um, and they can, you know, feel like they're, you know, part of, you know, they're part of the community too and in a community that's difficult for them to get into. But I despise female streamers that go on there just to shove their tits in the camera. It drives me insane. And there are a lot of them. What's worse is that people do it. That people watch that. I mean, I've seen something they don't they don't even game. They just sit there and chat and just talk and don't actually game and just you know, show as much cleavage as they can. Which I love cleavage, trust me, don't get me wrong, but that's not why I come on to Twitch. <laughs> Keep in mind, I can't I started doing this member at a time that Twitch was very young. Um, when I started doing my, my streaming the first time around, that... I mean, think about how young Twitch was. He was incredibly young. Oh, no, I... exactly. Exactly. And they know this. Ah, missed. Damn it, I thought I had that. They understand this. Yeah, it's just, it's changed so much. But yeah, I, I just it, I despise it. That that's and El Magus is done in seconds, so we are gonna not even get the last crystal before two people are done. But it's Bonds and Magus; they're both really good. It is. It is. It's a business. I mean, there are people that this is their livelihood. Um, you need. A lot of subs to make it work, to make a decent living. TGH just finished. There's three people done. These are the the people you expect to finish.
I mean, Kenji is a great is a great example of this. Um, I think I know Kenji's got a side job. At least I think he does. But I mean, he basically he's living off of you know his donations and his subs on his channel. I'm sure. Um, four people are done. But, yeah, it is what it is. I'm never going to shame somebody for doing... For doing, you know, this and actually... Probably shouldn't have waited so long to charge that. Um, I'll never fault anybody for, you know... Oh, he must have been one of the streamers. Um, you know, for, for making a living and doing this for money. It's fine. Great. Do it. Um, I just... I don't like it when... Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's... Yeah. I hear you, dude. Oops. That's not what I wanted. That would have been embarrassing to hit that. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I mean, hell, you keep coming back here and I'm the fucking worst, so... Man, the only thing... I should have done... I should have done... Hookshot Cave, just to see if I get the shovel. And shovel up whatever's in the shovel spot. How much you want to bet silvers are at the shovel spot? If it's... If Ganon says Light World, it's 100% there. It's the only space that's left. Is the shovel spot. Well, four people are done, and we're finally in Ganon's Tower. Um, so. That would be Shovelception. It is. It's absolutely impossible. Yeah, no, they know what they're doing there. They're, every every seed is 100% clearable. Every seed is 100% clearable. You can get every item in every seed. <clears throat> we never did find silvers, I'll be damned. <laughs> Let's do silverless. Oh shit. Oh, I guess I have mirror shield. I can just fucking do it. Ow! Prick. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just do silver. This is fine. I mean, there's there's literally no difference between the hard part of uh, butter versus tempered because they do the same amount of damage on Ganon in phase four. So, um, yeah. So it's not like it's a it's not a huge deal to have butter on Ganon. The only thing it, the only difference it makes is on phase one and two. It takes six shots instead of twelve. Makes it a little bit easier to want to to one phase it. But other than that, it's the exact same fight. It just makes it getting up here a little bit easier. So that six people are done now. I think that's that's six, right? Ow! I love the ricochet shot on that. So we're just going to use, since we don't have silvers, we're just going to... Oh, do we get the Wii on the end? 
Somebody just put a comment in their thing, the, the Wii comment, which is the Wii! Oh, I missed one. Maybe a month? I'd say a month I was doing these before I started actually doing the races. Well, let's see, the tournament finished in June or July, and I was doing them before that. And I started doing races in August. So, um... Yeah. So maybe a month. Call it six weeks at the max. Um, I did maybe... Um... 20 or 30 seeds, but a lot of those seeds I would... Rami just finished. Uh, a lot of those seeds I would do and then I would study. You know, I'd understand the things, basically just... I mean, I'm learning. Uh, and I wouldn't finish a lot of them, of the early ones. And then Act just finished. Ooh, that was... Uh, apparently that was a snipe. I didn't... I wasn't paying attention. All right, we'll check these chests. Why not? Because we actually need to we need to stop and get the key anyway. So why not? If we get silvers, it'll save us a little bit of time. How about that? No. <laughs> I want to. I really do, but I'm not going to. I think 10 is done now. Oh, shit, move, move, move. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck me. Turn around. Oh, my God. What a dick. <laughs> well, I'll find out if Silvers are actually there. They're not here. So I left, what, all of left side of Ganon's Tower, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And then uh, Hookshot Cave didn't get checked. The top half, at least. But we have a full board of items. Hopefully... I don't know if I... I'm, I'm gonna be really close to a two. Um... Oh, shit. I don't think I'm going to get a sub 2, unfortunately, based off of where I'm at right now. It's going to be difficult to get a sub 2. the place in right now is so the 10th is in yeah 10th is in so 11th is in oh you can of course you can it's just it's a waste of time the amount of time that it would take to check it is not worth the time that you gain so and plus i need more practice on serverless game i've gotten really good at it but i could still get better Six in. Looks like twelfth just came in. If I get a top fifteen with this, I'll be actually pretty happy with it. I don't even know how many people are in this race. I want him to say, "Did you get the uh, the, the silvers in uh, in Light World?" I mean, the most likely in is in Ganna's Town uh, Castle. I mean, it's. That's where the majority of their items are at. <gasps> it's there! It's the shovel spot!
Oh, that's amazing. Wow, I'm seeing the IRC starting to scroll. I think a lot of people are finishing now. I have no idea how many I got left. Shit. I have no idea how many people finished while I was doing that. Um, oh, there was a tie! Boyne and JTB tied! Zero Rush just finished 16th. I'm gonna get 17th unless I get sniped. 17th. Not quite as good as the previous one. Wow. <gasps> Whee! <laughs> wow. Yeah, Boots, exact same spot. It was the, uh, the middle chest in uh, Desert Palace. So, yeah, let's get some box in here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired, man. Um, anybody that's in chat, you want to go ahead and put in a, uh, a guess of how many bonks? We did get those boots fairly early. I'm going to say around the half hour mark. Um, that is when we did sneak into Desert Palace a little bit early. That's right, because it was a boot locked and it actually had the boots. So, um, go ahead and put your, uh, put your bonk counts in. 23 bonks. I like that number. That's a good number, actually, especially how I did on the previous one. I'm going to go just lower. I'm going to say 21 bonks. 21 bonks. If there's anybody else in chat that wants to put it in, now's your time. Um, we're just going to go in. Yeah, no, that sanity bonk count was insane. I don't know how I did so few. I mean, that's not me. That, that was serious bonk shaving. So, all right, let's go and fast forward through this. I'm gonna get to bed, I'm tired. It's been a long night. So for tomorrow, again, we are not gonna be doing the seven o'clock race. Um, as much as I want to, I'm not gonna do it. Um, yeah. um, but we will definitely be on for the 10 o'clock key sanity tomorrow night. Um, so same time tomorrow night, Key Sanity Run. We've had a great night. Um, 83 locations previous. Maybe I went there a little bit later than I thought. 26 bongs. It was slightly higher. Well, well played, good sir. Well played. Um, but yeah, we'll be back for the 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, and that's that. So, um, but yeah, we, again, we had a really good night tonight. We got the, obviously we spiked that Key Sanity Run. Oof, that lag time got, that's awful. Um... And we got our marathon on board, ladies and gentlemen. We will be getting that set up here within the next um, next something or other. Uh, I could send you the seed. If you want me, I could link it to you. Uh, you'd have to just reset my, you know, my shit. But yeah, I can send it to you. If you really want it. Yeah, okay, uh, keep an eye on your PMs. I'll send you PM in like a minute. Uh, I'll just put it in my Google Drive and send it your way. So, um, so. all right, boys and girls, that's going to do it for me. I am going to call it a night. I am exhausted. So I will catch you guys tomorrow night. Again, tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, Key Sanity. We will not be on before then, I can't imagine. So we will see you then. Have a night, guys.